All right, guys, before we really get into the, the meat of this video, which is done, Craig, because I will be doing the entirety of it, uh, post in the comments if I should uh, do the Ashari Sanctum in the, in the next segment. I won't promise that I'll do the entirety of the thing, but I would at least uh, show it off and progress to the various bosses if people want it. Or if you guys don't, uh, this will be the last uh, Uber I plan on doing. And the reason why is because this place has drastically changed since before. Um, someone posted an excellent comment about uh, Titan Strike. And, uh, oh shit. And uh, looking at its bonuses at level 120, uh, it's pretty good. I feel like a dumb shit for not using it. And I've made its hotkey W, which is the default uh, swap weapons hotkey. Oh god. Oh god. Um, the only bad thing I can really say about it is that its uh, duration is really low, even with the uh, knee runes. And uh, keep in mind, I already did the entirety of Dunkraig before getting the the tr the uh, fool's gold, and that's still your biggest threat: uh, the Dunkraig barrels. So anyway, I gotta remember to throw up portals. Believe me, I'll have to go through portals a lot to show where all five of the overlords are. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, good. Come on, you. Get the hell out of here. Wait, did I pick up that... Okay, I did pick up that mask earlier. Ah, oh, you get out of here. I'm guessing Witch Hunter's Hood. Actually, what do I even have for, uh... What do I even have for uh, a helmet? I think just a... Uh, nothing great, I know that. But anyway, this was what used to be the entirety of Dunkraig. Now it's uh, the Corrupted Abbey. I'm not sure wh why they went with the rename, but uh, whatever. It's still, uh, it is still Trollomatic Dunkraig, which is pretty bad pretty bad if you don't have good defenses or don't know what you're doing. I've practiced this a fair bit. Um, this new map roll took uh, over two hours, but that was before I... Uh, I was trying to find a Belladonna elixir before fighting Bale, and I... and I... I guess accidentally... I guess an accidentally? I don't know. But anyway, I killed, uh, I ended up killing everybody, including a Sir. It took me like two hours, but it, eh. At least I know what I'm doing. And have a better idea of how to survive. And I need to be incorporating Titan Strike more. Also, Thunder God is awesome here, because it, it saved my ass a few times. My ass? Oh, whatever. So anyway, everyone knows, I think by now, the idea of Dunkraig. You run through this place, kill, uh, kill the five generals, Q, 
cube their sigils with a ring of the five, which randomly drops in this uber, and they're very com- and ring of the five is a very common drop, too. So... So, let's see, where is it? This is, I believe, the Storms On set item. Okay, where's that unique ring, actually? There are a few uh, sacred unique rings I would like to use more than this. More than uh, Emprian Bands. And Athel's Hand. This is uh, the Javazon set item. I might have gotten those mixed up. Oh, Wrathless Death Gaze. That's the Javazon, and that's uh, Stormzon. Okay, I saw I was right. Uh, oop. And Ring of Disengagement. That is nothing new. Alright. So, this is why... Here is why this Uber is annoying. Teleport over the wall and you'll probably get bombarded with shit. Oh shit, I didn't reopen a portal, did I? Oh, I did. Okay, good. Guaranteed there's a better way of doing this. And my defense is not exactly the best. Uh... Oh, come on. Uh... That's fine. So there's skin render. What I did for this one is, uh, teleport over the wall, and then immediately cast Fortress, and then immediately switch to Snake Stance. And thankfully you can sort of see around the wall, so you can kind of, uh, plan out what you're doing. And there goes Skin Render. Take my word for it, there's absolutely nothing on the other side of this wall. I mean, there's some enemies, but, uh... This is just a demonstration of how to do the, uh, how to kill the boss. Not really, uh, not really a demonstration of how to, uh, how to, uh, farm it. And I'm just testing wind form here, because if I, if I can wind form well, I might actually be able to do Visgen, but I would practice that. Visgen is one of those Ubers that could be completed in like five seconds if you know what you're doing and you have enough defense, but it's not suitable for every class. But it's not one I particularly have a lot of uh, experience with either and is pretty annoying. And uh, I need to remember to be buffing with a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Titan Strike. Yeah, I need to remember to be doing that. And unfortunately, these Necromorbs are immune to, uh, stun. And the less of the barrel throwers there are, the better for this place. Whoa, shit. Fuck. How many of those are you gonna throw out? By the way, the fire, those, uh, fire, the flames that hit the barrel and blow them up, they don't have to actually pass anything to blow up the barrels. They can just exp spontaneously combust. So. I was just gonna leave that door shut, but, uh, killing with just Fortress was gonna take too long, I think, so. And all that, all the goodies. <sighs> Damn it! This is the only character where I've ever felt the need to have uh, five left mouse buttons. Although, if I ever switch to a sword or axe and shield, it'll go down, to, or just 
a two-hand axe, it'll go down to four. Okay. I think eye gouger, maybe? Where in the... Your likelihood to survive in throughout most of Dunkraig is purely dependent on how many of the the magic immunes there are. Magic immunes, aka the the barrel, the barrels of doom, there are. There's two. Now, in my opinion, there's, out of all the builds that I've played, there's none that's better than the, the Parasite Necro from XVI days, since that character was super fast, had a ton of defense, and uh, had very fast hit recovery, too. Also had, like, no skill switching whatsoever. Oh, fuck! Fuck off! Come on. Get the hell out of here. And should probably get the hell away. And kaboom. their chance to hit me. Okay, only 1% less, but still, that's not bad. Alright, so I think there's one over here. Oh my god. That is a lot. The plague... The plague throat. The plague bearers, which, uh, are the po I think are the poison immunes, although I'm not sure. Those ones are also not that pleasant. There's... Would you fuck off? Okay. Oh yeah, I need to equip a Sir's Bane. Necromorb, you are, you are useless, and gotcha, and look at all that. Hi, Necromorb, hi, Slain Soul, I've done Craig. isn't one here. I thought there was. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. I know where it is now. Okay. There is one off in this direction. It's just not here, but I am going to kill off all these guys, because this is the area I need to do a shortcut, which is still... There's still a risk of dying, don't get me wrong, but, uh... It's not like the same couldn't be said for, like, literally every other, like, 
Okay. Oh god. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually... Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and actually do this. Which I'm glad this shortcut still exists. Zare's uh, Redemption, or whatever it's called. And do not make a signet out of that. Okay. So, the shortcut here is if you use a source of teleport, and I should be using blink, if you use Jatan's gate and have your mouse cursor somewhere where this particular part of the map is, you can teleport all the way up here, and that's where a Sur is. If you're just farming a Sur and nothing else. Alternatively, you're supposed to go here, which is where the last uh, guy is, then teleport here, teleport here, 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 and here, then here, here, and then there. Each one probably filled to the brim with monsters that will just be ready to kick your ass the sec the frame you walk through the door or teleport in, like right there. This is why, this is why I am not the biggest fan of Dunkraig. And yes, I do know it was made way easier in this version compared to uh, prior patches, but it, it's still trolly and bullshit. And yes, this would be way better if, uh, whoa, that was some epic, that was some excellent ownage there. Um, thank God Immortal blocked, uh, the barrel from killing me. Anyway, it's still trolly and kind of shit, but, whatever, that wasn't so bad. Thankfully, no barrels. Hi, Bone Hexer. That was really good. Cannot complain about that run at all. Cause that was, that was one of the best uh, warps over here I've ever done. And also, did you see my health increase to uh, 13,000 there for a couple seconds. Uh, I don't know what causes that. I notice that it seems to do that when I use Jatan's gate sometimes. I don't know. I wish I could somehow figure out how to make that permanent. So. Okay. And luckily Fort... Fortress still affects them pretty bad when they have the target takes additional damage modifier of the wolf companions. Oh shit. Well, at least I remembered to throw up the portal, but I didn't want to waste it. That was a good one. My first... My first attempt at this, oh my god, it... It was pretty bad. And yeah, the magic... So at least there are no more, uh... At least there are no more, uh... <clears throat> of the... The barrel throwers. And yeah, that's, I think, the second or third Ring of the Five that's dropped in this segment. 
And these, and they can actually drop on uh, terror difficulty. I'm not sure about hatred, but I know for a fact they can drop in terror. But you do have to kill the generals on uh, destruction, so don't think that you can just easily cheese this by doing everything else on hatred. And nothing would die there. Okay. No. Wait. Okay. 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 Got it. Got it. Okay, got it. Wait, did I not activate Fortress? What the hell? I thought I, I thought I did. Oh well, whatever, it's fine. I do have to... Oh, nice. Can I kill some things? Can I kill some things? Okay, I put up a good fight. Oh well, you tried, Heretic. You tried your best. And, uh, this goes without saying, but thank Christ I don't have to get my corpse back. If I had to get my corpse back after every death, I just wouldn't try. That is a druid staff, I think. Actually, wait, is, is the flaming staff the druid staff? I actually forget. It is. Okay, so that's obviously the druid caster set item. <clears throat> Okay, so... And never forget to throw up your portal. And this is coming from the man who always forgets to do so. So... Yeah, this area will teach you very fast to uh, remember a backup portal. I will say that's one good thing about this place. <laughs> okay, so anything else? Nope. Okay. Portal. I'm not sure if Storm Blast or Ice Burst is better for that. I'm not actually getting even annoyed or angry at any of these deaths, and that's because I fully anticipate and or expect them to happen. Like, okay, that was, uh, that was pretty bad, but, uh, the only time I get, I try not to, try not to get angry over deaths. But unless it's the case where I'm just dying a bunch and I don't expect to die this off as often as I do. But here, since I'm dying const since I knew I'd be dying constantly, I'm not as I'm not nearly as annoyed. Uh, okay. And I gouger. Dead. And I am still healing with Eagle Stance. We. Oui. I'm not gonna say this is the fastest done Craig ever, but I think this is going faster than the Holy Melee Paladin. 
I could be wrong. I'd have to actually look back on that. All right. Oh, shit. I did not throw up my fortress in time to do any sort of reasonable damage. Okay. Okay. That's pretty thick for that area. And, well, at least there aren't, weren't any barrel throwers in that particular uh, area. Also, thank God for a uh, drop notifier. Well, well, there's some barrel throwers. Okay, good. All that's left is one, uh... All that's left is one more barrel thrower. Should be fine to avoid the barrel. And, uh, the last guy's on the other side of the... ...of the thing. Of this wall here. Oh, you bastards. That wasn't even the game. That was just that was just me being incompetent. It's better to be incompetent than impotent. I was saying whoa over the uh S the barrel, not this SU. Banded plate. That's obviously some sorceress set. And there we go, that's all five. And Grand Scepter. That's the Blood Zon set. Okay, so to recap. No okay. Let's go back to the beginning. Number one. Number two, number three, number four, and number five, and then cube of the ring of the five. So I'm gonna actually just uh, go back to uh, cold plains and then go to the subterranean corridor because I think that might actually be faster than Jatan's Gate. It wouldn't be faster than a uh, Pax Mystica, which I know by na this point everyone in the comments is like. Make a Pax Mystica and use the blink charges, you dumb fucker! I don't like using charges on items. Because I have horrible memories of how expensive that shit was in Vanilla D2. Um... This is most definitely not the plate. Now, these enemies do grant a lot more experience than they did in uh, uh, in prior versions of Median, but I would certainly never farm this place to go to level 121, I mean. 
was gonna say level 100 as if this is the vanilla game. But, uh, okay, so here's the shortcut, and the intended way can suck a massive, big, fat, fucking donkey cock. So. Oh, nice. Okay, that went well. That went well enough. Also, I have all of those with uh, perfect bloodstones just to, uh, um, just to add fire resistance so I could, uh, tank uh, a Sir's attacks better. I'm not gonna stand right in front of him w while he casts uh, Cataclysm or Flame Front or stand in the spot where he's about to cast Flame Strike, but, uh, in case I get hit with some with a projectile of his, it will be a little bit easier to survive. Overall, getting up here was a much easier task than it normally is for me. At least with this build. And hope I can kill these guys without triggering a Sir. Okay, good. Hiya, Sir. Now, even though he's immune to all damage except Purify, I don't know if you can notice, but he's moving fairly slow. That is because Snake Stance will still slow him down, even though he's immune to poison, and Fortress applies open wounds, and because of that, Purify one-shots a Sir. You're much better a Sir run than uh, with the Holy Melee Pally. So, two to Barbarian skills. I'm gonna see what... Uh, what this gives. Well, fuck this. I'm getting the one with my skill levels. So that's done, Craig, everybody. Uh, again, let me know if I should do the Yashari Sanctum or just move on to a new character.